guys and welcome back to a new video and to a new country. We made it to Mexico for the very first time and in the next two weeks we're gonna explore Mexico City, the pyramids of the sun and the moon in Teotihuacan. Then we travel further to Yucatan where we will explore Cancun, Tulum, all the cenotes and the pyramid of Chichen Itza. So stay tuned. We're gonna eat lots of foods, we're gonna make some videos about the street food as well. But this video will only be about Mexico in general. Enjoy the landscape, enjoy the culture, let's go! The weather in Mexico City is really nice. We have around 26 degrees. It is sunny, it is not humid. I love it. And first impression of Mexico City, it is very clean, it is nice. You can take a nice walk in the Centro Historico. People are really friendly. I like it. We have now arrived in Teotihuacan, where you can find the Pyramid of the Sun, which is right behind me, the Pyramid of the Moon, and some people pretending to be jaguars or eagles or other kind of birds. This is actually a World Heritage Site, and the Pyramid of the Sun behind me is uh, the largest pre-Hispanic building of its time. It is believed to be built 100 years AD, so around 2000 years ago, or in other words, it is super freaking old. Teotihuacan was actually the largest city in the pre-Columbian Americas and with around 175,000 inhabitants it was the sixth largest city in the whole world during this time. I actually thought we would be able to climb one of the pyramids because I think, oh my god, all the jaguars and pumas. Because I think not too long ago, maybe like two or three years, you were allowed to climb it. But it seems like not anymore. And by the way, this is the Pyramid of the Moon, which is almost equally as big as the Pyramid of the Sun. And the pyramids of Teotihuacan are actually a great day trip from Mexico City. And if you stay there, you only have to make your way to Terminal de Norte. And the bus will take one hour and cost you 104 Mexican pesos return and the entrance to the pyramids is 85 Mexican pesos per person. From Mexico City, we flew to Cancun to explore the Yucatan Peninsula. Our first stop was Tulum, a small beach town surrounded by many, many cenotes. Never heard of a cenote before? In Yucatan, there are large underground cave systems filled with sweet water. In some places, the ceiling of these limestone caves collapsed, resulting in a natural deep water sinkhole, also called a cenote. Cenotes are a famous attraction in Tulum and always crowded. There are more than 220 cenotes in this area and they are all connected by the Sac Actun underwater system. With a guide, you can actually visit the entrance of the system and we were lucky enough to get a private tour because we were the only visitors this morning. Sac Actun is the longest underwater cave on planet Earth with a length of 370 kilometers. And it is super freaking old. Human bones from the last ice age, 12,000 years ago, have been found in these caves. These are new stalactites. Can you imagine that they only grow one centimeter per 100 years? It is our responsibility to protect this fragile system. That is why you are not allowed to wear sunscreen or any other cosmetics when entering a cenote. And don't even think about touching the stalactites and stalagmites.
Cutting this video makes me a bit emotional because I remember the feeling of being in this synod and being so grateful for this life we are living. Experiencing places like this is the reason we gave up our normal life in Germany. We will carry these memories in our hearts forever. The second synod is called Tak Biha and we're completely alone. It's a bit spooky and there are lots of bats. <laughs> But it looks so beautiful and it's so quiet here. A second wonder of the world. People are clapping constantly because apparently something happens. There's a sound coming out of the pyramid. Um, it's so annoying. <laughs> They are clapping the whole time. And guys, excuse our sound, but we were not allowed to take our tripod and our microphone inside this archaeological site. So, if you're wondering why our sound is different than normally, that's the reason. And it is also freaking hot here. I'm sweating and we're only here for like 20 minutes. We're gonna spend a bit more time here. So I guess my dress will be soaked afterwards. And by the way, Chichen Itza is not only this huge pyramid right behind me. It's actually a whole complex of ancient buildings like this one in the back, this one over here and those over there. So now we're gonna walk around a bit more and explore the other ones too. Our last stop of the day here at Chichen Itza is the Synod right behind me. And about an hour and 45 minutes in, we are now gonna call it a day. It is super freaking out, super freaking, freaking humid. We can't stand the heat any longer. It's insane. So we're now gonna head back to the car and drive back to Valladolid. The next day we drove from Valladolid to Merida, where we had one photography mission. Guys, we fell into the Instagram trap. We came to Merida because we saw this beautiful statue on Instagram. We wanted to go there and so we drove for three hours to Merida. Tomorrow we have to go back four hours to Cancun. We booked a hotel for the night and now we're here just to find out that it's only a statue at a roundabout in the middle of the city and there's graffiti on it and the Mexican flag is not even up. Wow! So the next day we drove back to Cancun, which took us five hours. We're spending our last days in Mexico, in Cancun, enjoying the good weather and the beautiful 